Hey, this is Carl with iTrading Forex. Today we're going to talk about how to enter an order into FXCM's trading station. It's very simple, but we want to get the terminology down so that uh, it becomes automatic when you're ready to learn more about exactly how to go about trading and how to uh, uh, follow along with the things that I want to teach uh, going forward in the near future. So, in this scenario, we're going to pretend that we want that we've seen something in the Australian dollar that we like and we think it's going down so we want to sell some Australian dollars. When we click on the sell button it opens up this dialog and the dialog is going to automatically have the sell button radio marked or the radio button marked and how much you want to sell so this is the amount in thousands of dollars which is what the K stands for so this would be one hundred thousand dollars well we're beginning traders. We want to get the feel for putting everything on. We're going to trade $1,000, which is the smallest amount that you can trade. When you put on your size, it will show you how much you're going to gain or lose per pip. So in this case, we're selling, and we will gain $0.10 cents for every pip the market goes down, and we will lose $0.10 cents for every pip the market goes up. This number here is the amount of margin that you will use uh, if you put this trade on and that will be reflected up here with this green number usable margin now that number will uh, will change reflective on the size of the positions that you have on so this keeps you from this lets you use potentially more money than you have in the account we could if we wanted to even though we only have uh, 50k in the account we could trade 100k then that costs us $2,400 of our used margin, usable margin. Now, what that does is prevents us from putting on big, bigger, and bigger, bigger, bigger size up to a certain limit, which is something you don't want to do anyways. Margin and leverage are things that you need to stay away from while you're learning how to trade. The point is not to make money when you're beginning to learn how to trade. The point is to learn how to make pips and consistently put pips in your in your pocket and to get the get the methods down and you get your confidence level up. When you can do that, then you can do it consistently then we can start talking about trading for real money not until then alright lecture done so if we put on this trade right now we it will automatically sell us and we're gonna get whatever happens to be flashing in this window at the time when we click OK now we don't want to just go in there and have our position on without any protection so we want to click this advanced button and then click stop and click limit and then at the stop price that we type in here will be the price where we will get out of the market if it goes too much against us and since we're selling that means if we're going if the market goes up we're going to want to get out at a certain point probably risk around 20 pips now also if the market is going uh, down and our trade is working we want to have a limit order resting in the market in case there's a sudden news bump then we can capture our uh, profit target very easily without having to uh, you know reach over for the mouse and grab it uh, the, the broker will automatically take us out and we'll make our money which is exactly how we want uh, to trade it makes uh, takes the stress out of things and saves us from uh, terrible mistakes so you can also do it in, uh, in pips if you're not really concerned about the price itself you say okay well I want my stop to be 20 pips uh, away from my position if I lose 20 pips just get me out and if I make uh, 46.9 pips then that's good I'll take my money and I'll run and that gives me a risk reward of 2 to 1 and that's great of course we're not looking at charts so we don't know if it really makes any sense or not but again we just want to get the terminology and, and everything down so we'll click OK and it's automatically going to put in uh, our position for us so it sold us uh, some Australian dollars at 93.058 so right now if we wanted to get out of this position we would automatically lose about two, two to three pips because we would have to pay up for this uh, asking price at the buy. This is why the spread is very important. We need to pay attention to it because if you make mistakes with an order entry, 
then you're going to have to instantly pay that spread. It's also that much more money that you have to overcome in order to put your trade into profit. When you're trading with a broker that uses spreads rather than commissions, the thing to realize is every trade you start is going to be started at a loss. So you have to make up that loss in order to get into the profit. Uh, uh, so that you can actually uh, make money on the trade. So let's go see what it did for us here. We've got, these are our orders that are sitting in the market. This is our limit order that is waiting to be executed at 92.59. And our stop order that is waiting to be executed if prices goes, price goes against us at 93.29. Uh, and it's nice, you can go look at the chart and it will show exactly where everything is on here. So I've got lots of little arrows here uh, because I was playing around with the software, but this most recent arrow is uh, where we just executed this uh, last trade. And over here it shows you where our stop is, so if price goes back up and hits the stop level, we get out of the trade at a loss. If price comes down here to this limit, uh, uh, price at just just below 92.60, then it's going to exit us and we'll take our money and run. And that's all there is to it. Uh, it's really not very difficult. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. And the demo software is really nice because you don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. You can play with it. Um, and if you ever have a problem with uh, your demo account, you totally mess it up or you want to go back and uh, uh, start over again once you've gotten uh, some knowledge then and you want to see what you can do with your uh, pretend 50k and see if you can actually make some money uh, then you can go in and recreate your demo account and have it reset so that's it hope it was useful and we'll see you next time